pull it out? You want to pull it out or you want me to pull it out? Whatever you want to do it. Why don't you go ahead and pull it out? Okay. So we got, I got a new little bit, a car, a car for my bucket list that I've been wanting, Before which you guys will see here in a minute because my brother's on a test drive with it. I was so impressed with it, I wanted him to go drive it because I've never driven a car that's that old that is that clean and tight. But we've got a little, as we always kind of do for dyno stuff, I think we're going to roll it on the dyno here in a minute and see what a bone stock 1987 Grand National makes in the dyno. So it's a Buick. 1987 Buick Grand National. Some people know what those are. You guys know what those are because you've been around cars enough. Yeah. How much could that car possibly make? While we're doing this, we're playing out. Yeah. <laughs> to the, to the rear tires, this will be for lunch. What do you got there? What is that? Oh, uh, did. Well, what have you been waiting for this for? I have. <laughs> yeah. This, this, got, this is a piece that, so this is off the subject, but this is for my 69 Camaro. It got been came from Canada. Joe Van O made me a front splitter, and it's been stuck in customs since about 40 days ago. So we finally got it today. We thought it was lost. It's gonna be sweet, man. You can't beat Joe. I don't know which. Work. Yeah, I know. They're, it's very, very nice. It's gonna make it super 69 easy. 69 carbon stuff called Joe Van O. This is not. Is this not a Joe Van O commercial though? <laughs> it's just uh, quality pieces. Yeah. So now I've got a few cars. You know, is this I got a Travis? few cars. Here comes Travis. He came to work. It's like a unicorn. <laughs> <laughs> it's like we he spotted a unicorn. A uni he drives yeah. a unicorn and he, yeah. he is a unicorn. Yeah, he drives. It's one of the cleanest. It's like, is it unicorn day? What? I is feel like you should come up in sparkles and a, like a horn right coming out of your head. Because you're like a unicorn when you come around. <laughs> oh, okay. He didn't like that. He said, oh, okay. He said, oh, okay. I'm going to go. Yeah, okay, it. cool. I'm going to go to lunch here in a minute. <laughs> hey, but for reals, we're about to leave for lunch, man. <laughs> did you go to lunch yet, or are you coming back for lunch? <laughs> oh, what'd you eat? <laughs> oh, Monday. No. That is not on my diet. supposed to only go on that Mondays. Is not man. on my diet today. Only on Mondays, bro. Look at you coming clutch with my cold air unit. That you just dropped off at the for the trip. That's yeah, okay. It's perfect. So That's exactly what I needed. Is it? Hang on. Hang on. Don't scratch it. Look at you Don't go. Don't scratch it. Look at you go, you and the hole looks know. clean like Man, it. Every time he thinks I'm gonna just butcher know, shit up. No, I don't. Every so, time he's like, "Hey, can great. you do this for me? I need you to do this, but I, I also know. don't need you to fuck it up." Yeah, how, I know. Well, I have to make it. Sometimes <laughs> if I don't say that, you I forget. get it back, and it's like, "Ooh." This well, is I don't not typically nice. do anything. Yeah. That, I, that I think I'm gonna fuck it up. And eventually, Travis, as we work together, I'll figure that out. Okay. okay? Uh -huh. But for now, you're just gonna have to take me with the, "Hey, man, don't fuck that up." Okay. Okay. But you have. It takes a long time. You have it though. Trust me. I was gonna say, what have I messed up yet? Nothing. Okay. Nothing. This is perfect. Uh, yeah, we can't yeah, say Ricky, that. Yeah, Ricky. Like that? That's, that's, that's another thing for Ricky. Ricky's, the champagne pot yeah, really good, out, but, but really hard to strap down. Oh, so this is Chase Blue of Beer, huh? Yeah, Joe Van O. That's special. a Joe Van O piece. This is not a Joe Van O commercial, but we're going to say it a lot apparently yeah. today. Uh, Man, it's never pretty cool, it, huh? Yeah, that's nice. I ordered it about 30, 40 days ago, and it got stuck in customs in Canada. Mm -hmm. It was supposed to make it on the red car oh, before it goes in the boat. Light. Light. Yeah. It's made of... It's made Anybody else nervous about how long Matt's been gone with my car? Uh, he's been okay, gone so for a little bit. Maybe he's, he went to the store. Cruising, so man. turbos and, he likes it so tube, much. and tube chassis yeah. parts and carbon fiber. Uh, this is just a little bit more weight to the front. I don't know that. what car that's going on, so just hold, slow your roll. Okay. Might not go on the street car. Okay. That's but, not, it might, that's not oh. but it might go on the street car. He said street car. Yeah, well, yeah. they're both street cars. Or, hell, you never know. He might have ordered two. The red car got raced on the street. No, yeah. it's true. Yeah. Put some working on the that street. That's nice. Yeah, it is pretty nice. That's really nice stuff. Um, but, Dino. So, here. how much? Uh, hey, how much 
if you were guessing. Oh, yeah. Traps is in on this game. Yes. How much? What, what is there a bet? Bone? Yeah, yeah there's a bet. bet. Okay. There's a, a lunch bet, and you've already eaten, so it's fine. Okay. Uh, uh, you're gonna eat again. Unless you lose. <laughs> unless you lose. You <laughs> yeah. Uh, how much do you think a bone stock 1987 Grand National makes? On your dino? Yes. Or mine? <laughs> Here we go again. Dino, See, there's like always some type of. There's, there's like always something with Travis. Swing on your dino. Oh, there's always shit. something. Like is mine high? Huh? Is mine high? Or greedy? What's the word? What's the what's the word on that? You think ours is Because I feel like the numbers that a lot of my stuff makes, it's pretty spot on with what it runs. You think so? I hope so. I, I honestly do. <laughs> and this is definitely yeah, if you're getting ready to say, just so you know, if you're getting ready <laughs> to say that my dyno reads 150 <laughs> higher, that means his you thing guys, is a slug. Okay. That means yeah. the truck of his is actually slow as dirt. It's the slowest single turbo. Because his single turbo Chevy over there, which that's going to be a whole other thing we're going <laughs> to talk about, that thing made 400 horsepower on the dyno. <laughs> it's got slicks front and rear. I mean, it's it like a race car when you're driving it, and it is not fast. <laughs> so if you're saying that my dyno is 150, if it gives 150 horsepower, is that puts his about 300 tires. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I'm gonna say, uh, say 265. Is I'm going no. 275. No, we'll make 265. No, not make 265. One dollar, Bob. No, yeah, uh, that's <laughs> that's your bet. Yeah. Okay, what's yours? Well, first of all, I mean, are we like, how are we doing it's, this? It's well, stopped. we're getting ready to roll a stop, bone stock well, Grand National. If his brother ever comes here, back, hopefully. I, 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 I found <laughs> yeah, myself a clean Grand National. Yeah, yeah, I heard. Matt's driving it, which he has a, he's hasn't. he been gone for a while, so I'm concerned. But uh, <laughs> He's got him a little nervous. Yeah, he got me a little nervous. Because I said, hey, go take this around the block. And I shit you not, that was 15 minutes ago. And, and this car has not had good luck so far. <laughs> <laughs> the one that has like 3,000 miles on it that's yeah. brand new? That's yeah. Basically. Yeah. Okay. So let me tell you a story about that. <laughs> so Sunday night, I sit in my garage. It's weird to me that Amazon delivers on Sunday, but they do. It is what it is, nonetheless. <laughs> what are you doing? Call Matt. Hey, you wait. <laughs> there you go. Because <laughs> he's not going to answer, and he's going to worry you more. <laughs> no, hey, you, you good? You just love yeah, it? Man, I just... I just made it loop around over by the shop. Okay, you're good. We just made sure. <laughs> it's kind of far, but you know. Uh, okay, so UPS walks up and he throws, sorry, FedEx, not UPS. UPS is great. If Amazon walks up and throws a package on my porch. All right. Well, then they pick it back up. He reads something on his little kiosk thing and he reads something and he's like, oh, that's not right. So he picks it up picks the box up and he's on the porch and he looks around then he walks around to my garage and my Cadillac's here Grand Nationals here and then it's empty over here and he's like Ugh. not just sits he it. throws it on the deck lid of the Grand National and then, and then he takes it and scoots it up to the back window and what do you think it does to it it's a box mm. yeah and it's dusty because I haven't had time to wash it or anything so whoever you are That's Billy. and uh yeah, so that guy got a good ass to him from chairs. Yeah, so listen, I'm I'm in the living room putting my shoes on, and Dax comes running. He goes, Dad, Dad, the neighbor messed up your car. Mom's outside. She needs help. And I was like, What? So I got one shoe on. I throw my shoe on. I'm like hobbling out there, and I run outside, and I'm like, And all I hear is chairs just chewing this dude's ass. Like you dumbass, blah blah blah. But she don't, you know, it's not really that aggressive. And I was like. What is going on? So I walk out and I said, what car did they, I'm thinking in my head, what car did they hit? And she's walking over to my grand house Can't and I was like, oh, what, how did he get over here in my garage? You all of two days. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> how did he get in my garage? And then I see, the, I said, she said, he just threw a box on your car and I'm not getting blamed for it. <laughs> and look what he did. And they just scratched the shit out of it all the way on the, up to the deck. Of it. So this kid's like telling, this kid's like, all I did was set the box on it. I'm like, bro, you cannot set box. I said, listen, if Amazon has not, taught you, uh, not taught you anything, yeah. you cannot right. set any boxes on on a 1987 Grand National that has 3,000 on factory paint. And so, but you, but look, I, I was mad, right? Is single stage or are these base clear? I think they're base clear, but I'm not even sure about that. So I was I was pissed about it. So I'm yelling at the guy, and then I was like, wait a minute. This kid's like about to cry. He don't know what he did. He doesn't understand. Like, he has no clue about cars. Car he doesn't understand that you can't do that. He don't get nothing. So, like, I calmed down a little bit, and I said, look, man, you can't ever, let me just help you from here forward. You can't put boxes on people's cars. 
On top of the fact that this is the worst car in my, like I got four cars in my driveway, and this is the absolute yeah, throw worst them on one. Any of them yeah, literally, you could put it on any car there that I would be okay with, except for the black one that has three thousand miles from nineteen eighty seven. He walked up and seen a dirty with the Jeep original paint. <laughs> he walked up and was like, "Look at this shit." I box. said, "Man, <laughs> I know this is a piece of shit Regal to you. I get it." He goes, "No, no, man, this is an awesome car." And I said, "Well, dude, just from now on, I said, but I'm gonna need you to call your supervisor because, like." I don't know if the truck's going to be repainted or what, you know? <laughs> so he calls the supervisor and it's, they get supervisors on the phone. And the supervisor's like, man, you can never do that. Like, the, <laughs> some of these cars are people's prized possession. And I said, yeah, look, you got a car that, you know, you got a car like this. I said, you know, you got bad luck, bro. So let me just tell you about that. And I know, and he, and I know you didn't do it on purpose. Ricky, why are you ashing on my car, bro? <laughs> That's why I got no. That's why I got blow no up. smoking around here. Blow it. Hey, if you're Somebody gonna blow it, blow my hood right there too. Blow it. Can blow all that off, man. Don't be ashing on my car. That's a chip. God, get away from here. Blow on this too. You got some more ash up here. Don't be smoking on my ride, man. This is a no smoking facility. The windows are the windows are down, bro. I know you think I can smoke in a hospital. Uh, it doesn't. Isn't it Isn't crazy? Yeah. I know. So I was, I, I've never I've never been to something this old that drives like that. Now it needs you need to put some volcano booster in it because it, it paints. Clatters. Uh, so they gave it to me with a full tank, which is awesome. Yeah. But the problem is we could not squeeze, and it gets really good gas mileage. Yeah. So I drove it all the way up to RS. You could run it out. I couldn't. I got a gallon and a half in it of 105. That's all oh. I get. We got some. Of them. Go get some. Go get some. I know. We need. We need. If I, I need remember to put some with these back. Yeah, in I the got day, some boost so from BP. With, yeah. And oh yeah, get some of the VP octane yeah. boosters. Yeah. They're hard. Yeah, yeah. They're hard to not make clatter. Like, this is why general. they get chipped. But hey, right. but we're going back. Rick already uh, he he put his uh, guess in on the dyno. What so do you think he's hang on, hang on, hang on. I got to finish my story. Oh. So long story short, <laughs> the kid made a claim. So we have to go through Amazon. But I took this to my buddy Chris at 405 Detail, and he got all the scratches out of it. So it's good. I'm uh, you know uh, we're probably just going to blow it off with Amazon and not worry about it. But it sucks. If you're an Amazon driver, don't put boxes on people's cars. If you deliver UPS, FedEx, and most of y'all know this, but don't put boxes on people's cars, please. We do love Especially you if they're black. <laughs> Even if they look like a piece of shit, they're not really. Um, yeah, okay. so now we're talking about how much does a stock one of these make on the dyno? You just drove it. How much does that thing How make? much power do you think this bad boy makes? From 1986. Seven. 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 No, I have, the only guess I have heard is Ricky at 265. I'll say 172. Okay. I'll say 250. It's faster than a Fox Body Mustang. A okay. stock Fox but, Body but Mustang. Remind you, Fox Body Mustang made 180. I know. That's okay. what I'm saying. It's faster than it. I'll say. And they're probably heavier than I'll say 240. Fox Body. I'll say 240. Okay. I'm going to take 225. 240. I'm going to take 225. I'm going to go. 235. It's at the back, okay, same so same place as the old cars. What did you behind. Said 225? I said okay, 225. So I guess officially is 224. I'll take the under. Oh, you can't have two guesses. Okay, I'll take. Okay, so we're yeah. just doing closest yeah, then, not no yeah. over. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, yeah, we're just doing closest. So 172. 172. 172. Okay, okay. because you might be right. 205. I'm putting 205, 205 for Richard. Richard's oh, yeah. putting in 205. You're stealing the gas. You got the key dog? Oh, yes. Oh. <laughs> in the glove box. In the glove box has a coin holder and it's slid down in the coin holder. Pop the hood off. Okay, so let me tell you about my my hunt for my for a Grand National. Okay, so for two three years, honestly, I've wanted one of these my whole life, and to the point now where I've gotten a couple things that I wanted, and this was next on my list. So I've been looking, trying to find the right car, and to me, the right Grand National was tastefully modified. Somebody already spent a few dollars on. Maybe makes about 400 horsepower, about 50,000 mile car. I've been looking for two years for that car, and I can't find it. And I know there's some out there, but the problem are they've been ragged out. They're not nice. They've been repainted. I just wanted something that was really clean that you could still modify. And unfortunately, or fortunately, depending on the way you looked at it, I found this car that was a great deal. But it's a 3,000 mile car. This car has 3,000 miles on it, and it is, has nothing done to it. The only thing that I can see that they've done, and then I bought it from the original owner, is... A heat shield here for the turbo, a little polished uh, coal pipe going to the throttle body, and then maybe like the filter for the oil cap. It's bone stock down to the catalytic converter. So I'm going to do a few things to it. Um, I got some springs. I got some. I got a MagnaFlow cap back. I got a downpipe for it. Um, a lot of you guys will probably think I'm nuts for modifying a $3,000 car. Or excuse me, a 3,000 mile car. 
Um, but that's just kind of what I do. I do the stuff that I want to do to my cars. I love this. This is awesome, and it drives fantastic, but it needs just a little bit more. Um, I, In my opinion, I found this car for what I could have found a clean 50,000-mile car for, so it justified me getting a car with this low miles. But it's not going to stop me from doing the stuff that I want to do to it. So for all you Grand National guys out there that are like purist, probably not going to like this because I probably won't keep it super pure. But what I will do is I'll keep all the stock parts for you guys so that if one day I ever decide to sell it, I'll have the stock parts too. Um, I don't really sell much. I haven't sold much in a long time. Oh, oh no, I'm definitely going to buy it. It's already in there. I'm definitely going to buy it. Damn. I'm going to do it. I mean, why not? I still want it the way I want it. Man, find another one. <laughs> See, that's find what people said. So then I got my two of them. That yeah. doesn't make no sense. Here's the justification. This one's the one that's expensive. Find the shit box, the actual shit box. There's not any shit boxes out. Let me let me tell you. Hey, shit boxes Listen, are expensive. Listen, I was looking for. Yeah, I just said this. Expensive. I was looking for a fifty thousand mile car hey, that like had some mods that I could do some stuff to and have fun with. That car is fifty, sixty thousand bucks. Yeah. I bought. I mean, I paid less than that for what I have here. You see what I'm saying? So it's like, I'm 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 kind of justifying that by finding this car, but I'm not going to not do what I want to do to it. So, you can be that guy. See, she, she Travis is a purist. No, no, no. <laughs> Travis is clearly not a purist. All, not at all. <clears throat> you can be that guy, but I can't, I can't. But when you find a car like this, I know. It's hard to, know. it's hard to go that route. But that's why I'm just going to do a couple of little tasteful things to it. Set it down just a little, about an inch, and put a cat back on it. Maybe a downpipe. That clears the without turbo. any chip. You don't want to filter. Eh, no, no, no. <laughs> 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 I mean, you, you never know. But you might, put it, you might put it on you. <laughs> never know. You never know. But I think so. We're gonna have fun with this car too, though, and I want to share it with everybody else on on the YouTube channel. So, obviously, this is one of the bucket list cars for me, and I'm gonna. I've I've already put probably 120, 130 miles on it since I've owned it, um, and we're gonna. I'm gonna continue to drive it. So the miles will go up as I have it. It's not gonna be my daily driver. I'm not gonna put many miles on it, but I am gonna put a few. Um, the lights disconnected. Yeah, that was the only thing I saw that didn't work was that. Now I know why it doesn't work. It's unplugged, in, but I don't know where the plug is to it. Ooh, look, Travis is fixing stuff on yeah, it. Yeah, dude. No. Look. Oh, oh he, probably dang. Dang. I mean, he probably unplugged He's it. going home now. Right now. Yeah, yeah, he's man. done for today. Done. He's yeah, done. all right. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so we're going to have some fun with it. Let me tell you how much the, guy, the older guy that had this before me, how much he loved it. I got the original tires in black paper sacks, in black uh, track, track sacks. Yep. Yeah. And like, the, dude, the window sticker, every piece of paper that has anything to do with it, it's all like perfect, ready to go. I mean, I don't really need a car like this, to be honest with you. I'm not really the person to have a car like this. Yeah, because you mod everything that I, you have. And on top of that, like, <laughs> to the I, this, this is... <laughs> to the extreme. This yeah. is, I won't, I'm not going to go to the, to the extreme on this one. But, <clears throat> no, I'm not, I don't think I ever will. <laughs> but that being said... Like your bike. This is why why I don't need cars like this is like the Amazon driver throwing a box on it. Like I attract stupid shit like that, right? And I thought just now the FedEx guy was gonna back into it. They were all going beep, beep, <laughs> beep, you know. So Ricky's not driving it. Ricky is not driving it. We do not want this to set on fire. Did you drive I it? Drove it in the trailer. Ooh. Oh. <laughs> and safely. I will say and this. I will. Hey, way. you know what? I'll give you. I'll give him a give a kudos where kudos is due. Ricky and Richard, you guys left to go to Buffalo, New York to pick this up for me. You came back, you didn't You didn't mess up the truck, the trailer, or the car that you brought back. <laughs> that's some type of record, I think. That's three things you guys took 1,200 miles away, and you didn't scratch them, you didn't, you didn't, like, usually Ricky brings back with a mirror hanging off that or something. <laughs> yeah, Richard fucking And he you didn't do that. Taken, and you did not did, do that. Did Richard drive it? <laughs> Richard drove from I'm just kidding, Indianapolis, Rick. You did pretty good. Pretty much to the guy's house to drop Matt's car off. Did you sleep at all? I did not sleep. Um, no, but it, but it means a lot just getting there and back without. But you know how I tear the car. Right? If I'm there, I might as well go. So we're gonna have some fun with this, and we'll share it with all the YouTube people. Let's and you guys can hate on us. Yeah, we're gonna put it on Dino. You guys can hate on us for modding it. That's okay. Uh, you you can you can. Uh, but Richard did tell me on the way home at one of the gas stops because he was the check boy yeah to make sure the car was good when we pull up get gas i'd yeah. fill up he'd jump out look at the car he uh -huh. came back in he sat in the truck and he looked over at me he goes got some bad news we're gonna need a mirror oh uh, he's messing with you and i was like what do you mean we're gonna need a mirror and he was like we're gonna need a fucking mirror and i was like 
the fuck we are. <laughs> you are. I was like, you need a fucking beer. <laughs> You're the one checking it. You need yeah. a beer. I was like, we got to stop every 200 miles and get fuel. You're checking it every 200 miles. You're going to tell me in 200 miles we need a fucking beer. <laughs> That's funny. That car didn't move. I mean, it didn't Rick move. Rick put the, the stretch on it, the frame Look machine. at the, it, I it just did. was looking at stuff. I know it's yeah, cool. But look at how the, like, uh, the Buick. The Buick turbocharged thing, like even that's like perfect. Yeah, that's of course, it should be with this low miles, but I mean, I'm still amazed looking at this car. It's like, it's like it's been in a time capsule for. Is this the original AC Delco battery? I'm gonna go no. <laughs> I would say it's not. It doesn't look like it. Batteries or something, we're gonna give a pass on, you know. But hey, the ashtray door works in this. The center uh -huh. console still latches. Like so, they put a fan on the crank. No, it's, to cool it's, the fucking intercooler? Yeah, it's the intercooler. I would say oh, yes. Wow. It's, it's factory. They have fans on the intercooler on these. Man, back in 87. Uh -huh. They were thinking about cooling the intercooler. Yeah. Yeah. Hey, trying to, trying to make these cars, This I was telling the story. This is the, this is, and I, Matt, you'll share this with me because, you know, we both kind of drove at the same time. And even though you're a little younger than I am, we grew up with these cars. So, 1987, you had this car drop. And you had the eighty, and you had an eighty-seven Mustang GT Fox body drop. All right, those were the two hot cars of that year, and these were cool, right? But they weren't heavily modified like the Fox bodies were in nineteen eighty-seven because nineteen eighty-five and eighty-six the Mustang GT had already dropped, so the aftermarket industry was already was pr already hot and heavy for the Fox bodies. So. 87 everybody goes and buys a fox body instead of buying these well these were limited number and for some reason only i feel like only the rich guys had these yeah. right so like they so like anybody that could because the cars weren't that much different as far as how much they cost yeah the, they were a little bit more expensive but the sticker on this car i think was seventeen thousand. yeah and i want to say a fox body was 15 14 yeah. something like yeah. that so like for me today i'm taking this car every, yeah, right. over the fox body right. every time but the deal back in the day was you could get this, and I think this car ran, and we're gonna we'll take it to the track, we'll figure it out. But I think this car <laughs> ran 13s from the factory. Yeah. Oh, wow. Fox Body didn't. No. They run uh, the stick car went if you could drive it good went 1440s, yeah. 1430s. Ron's gonna be fucking Mr. Ford version Buick. I might. I might fun? race on the Buick side this time. I raced on the Ford side my whole life. I might race on the Buick side. All my Buick buddies, all the guys with glasses and pocket protectors and stuff. I'll get, my, and I'll get my pocket protector and put on my glasses. I ain't making fun of the GN guys. I'm just playing. Uh, but back in the day, this is what I remember. The smart engineer nerdy dudes were the guys that had these. Because they knew what to do with them. Like we popped the hood and we're like, what is that thing? That's a turbo. Well, yeah. We didn't know what to do with it. We didn't know how to turn it up, turn it down, yeah. modify it, tune it, nothing. So for me, I chose I chose a Fox body, and then we went hey, we went yeah. ham on a Fox body. We did pulleys, and like you could take a Fox body and do pulleys, shifter, full exhaust, headers, gears, and outrun these all day long. But then the aftermarket industry started coming into play in the '90s, and maybe even a little sooner. And then, and then just a couple mods made these things run 11s. Yeah. You know, and then these were, so we you, drive. You had to fully mod a Fox body to yeah, run 11s. Yeah, yeah. We'd have, you'd have to do heads, cam, intake, nitrous. Then you yeah, could run 11s. Yeah. And these things, they were putting a chip and injectors and a couple other things, and boom, these things would run 11s. So these are just really cool. They're really cool cars. But I want, my whole life, I'd, drive, I'd be, I didn't have no money, and I was driving my Fox body around to look, oh, there goes a Grand National. It's like a unicorn spotting, kind of like Travis. When Travis comes around, where uh, he's at? He's yeah. over there. Yeah. Uh, not work. And, and so I wanted one. So here well, we go. Even now, everywhere we went, you were looking at Fox, at all of these. Every yeah. time we saw one, we'd go look at it. Yeah. It took me, it took, me um, it took me a while to find the right time, and I want to give a shout-out to my boy, to my buddy, Bill Brooks, who uh, – Bill Brooks found me this car, so – he, and he's weird how I met him. I was an MPK Norwalk. Yep. And yeah. we were, yeah, and we were sitting. I was literally sitting at the end of my car, and I think I was talking to you, and you were packing the parachute. Yeah. And the staging lane line got behind me pretty long, and there was a Grand National right behind me. And I walked over and just said, man, I've always wanted one of these cars. This one's cool. And I was just talking to the guy about his car, and he said, man, if you're serious, let me get your number, and I'll find you a car. He's, like, in all the Grand National clubs and knows all the people and all that type of stuff. And he literally, he found me this car. He sent me, I don't know, we probably went through 25 before we found the right one. On that one. Mm -hmm. But shout out to him for finding me the car. If it wasn't for him, I wouldn't have it. Uh, but you can follow our journey uh, with this, and we'll see what we have time to do within all the MPK stuff and what we are going to end up doing with it and try to have some fun without tearing it up. Hopefully we don't Definitely. make all the Grand National guys cry. And uh, 
go from there. But for now, we're gonna put on the dyno and see what makes bone stock. No. Yeah. That's what you got with a brand new 87 yeah. again. I mean, it's as close as it comes. It's cool as shit. We gotta move some cars around, but uh, we'll back this thing on the rollers here in a minute. answer this question wrong but it's clearly a turbo yeah oh, okay you know what yeah. i mean so it's a so it's a it's a turbo obviously Pop because hood. it's one of the first turbo cars really in production that i know of travis can you guys anybody else think SVS, of a turbo car that's one of those SVO. SVO, svo in 1984 well, yeah, hold on whoa, whoa. they made t-types in 84 i think too Oh, you're right. They did. They were carbureted turbo cars. Yeah. Ooh, okay, man, so not again, my disclaimer is not a Grand National guy. So any history from Grand National, I won't get right. So I apologize in advance. But I'm what sure I, they're going to be in the comments. I know yeah, they, they will be. I'm sure. I see they will be. <laughs> Let us know in the be. comments. But I know, I'm smart enough to know that that's a turbo. That is turbo. That's what that is. That's yeah. an iconic Grand National symbol that everybody knows about for myself since 1987 because I always saw it and thought, man, they nailed it with the, with the emblem on that. Yeah, good marketing. It is good marketing. They did a good job. They did a good job with Spark. This thing rides so good, like a little creep up. Man, it glides over bumps. And it seems like it is I know, it's crazy. <laughs> All it's the crazy. Time. It's crazy. I'm, tell, I'm telling you, it's been a while. So Ricky and, Ricky and Richard brought this to me. So today is Tuesday, right? Today yeah. Tuesday. Richard, Ricky and Richard brought this home on Saturday night. Okay, so that Saturday is the same Saturday that Javi and I went to Cars and Coffee and Tunnel with the Chevelle. So we, we were out all day long, and me and Nikki Jr. were working on the Chevelle a little bit when we got back. And then these guys brought this home at about 6 o'clock Saturday evening. And both the McKees were here, McKee Jr. and Sr. were here, and we were all talking. They were like, let's go out tonight and go drive the cars around. And so instead of driving the Chevelle, I want to drive this and have it, you know, I'm going to drive it. So like literally as soon as Ricky dropped it off at the trailer, we pulled in the shop. I went, woo, that's cool. Then I jumped in it and took off. And uh, I put 90 miles on it the first day, but literally the first night. So it was me and Cherish and we had Bub in his car seat in the back. And uh, just this car, like there's not a lot of cars that I, I get in. I'm like, hey, man, this is cool. But this is one of those. I had a smile on my face driving it. It's a cool car. It felt like I got in a very often. No, and I felt like I got in a time machine, and um, I got in a time machine and like went back to 1987 and, and drove a car off the lot. That's what it felt like. But just all the little idios, just all the little things that it has that like we think are super outdated. You know, the little the little RPM bar is a digital bar readout instead of a instead of a, uh, a standard gauge so yeah. that thing that's cool this is um, the year i graduated power is it 1987 yeah. yeah do you remember these cars i do oh yeah huh. had a kid in school he got a big inheritance and that's this what, is he, what bought. he bought yeah, yeah. right said the rich kids got them the, yeah. the, i'm telling you the rich kids the doctors yeah. the lawyers like that's who had these cars i did not know we had a pretty good hot rod following and um in in the Norman Oklahoma uh, Norman Moore Oklahoma City area, you know, obviously being that that's where Street Outlaws originated, so of course it was a big car community. Whatever you're ready, right? But I don't remember anybody in that's my high bad. school that had that got one of these, or honestly yeah. any of the high schools that we went to. It was no, no, none of these even ever. You never even saw any driving around town. No. Really, every every once in a blue moon you'd see. There one. was a dude. Oh, and I, I, I want to butcher everybody's names. So back in the day, we used to hang out at this shop called Norman Automotive. 
and Andy used to run Norman Automotive, and that's where I first met Matt Kutowski yeah. from the very first. Well, one of these, they used to mod one of these for a guy, yeah. and it's sit in there forever. You remember that car? We almost bought it yes. as a roller for oh, you yeah. Yeah, instead of your car that we bought. Yeah. Yeah. Just, oh, that was as close as we ever got to one. We yeah. almost bought one for Matt. Yeah. And it changes the whole trajectory of your yeah. life. <laughs> oh, it would have, wouldn't it? It might have changed it, because I may have, you never know. Like, you would have drove one and got one? You never know, yeah. Soldier Mustang yeah. got one of these? I might have fallen in love. I could have been a Grand National guy. Never know. This could have been a doctor too. Instead of a fox body guy. And I'm not even a fox body guy now. Now I have a grand national first circle. I'm, now I have a grand national. Yeah, so, you know, it's kind of weird. Shit works out, huh? Yeah. I wonder. I'm just sitting here thinking. I wonder how it would hold this thing in gear. It may, so. Let's see. It's got one. It's it's a it's a 200 R4. It should, yeah, it's a 200 R4. Stay in it should just be just put it in drive. Well, if you if you nail it, it's going to kick down. You may have to get it up. Get a mile out. Yeah, whatever that is. Let's just try 2500 and see, and then yes. go up. That. It's going to downshift to 2500. But maybe Let's you take roll that fan off the crank. You want to you start taking parts off yeah, it right now? Parts off of it. Yeah, Sounds good. <laughs> take the fan off the crank. He's already he's maybe already going to model it. You're a purist. Guys. I will try to roll into it, but I would well, say we'll move it up to 3,000 or 3,500. 3,500. Let's start there. Sonny right now is watching us going, you dumbasses. We know how to dyno these and that ain't. Yeah. <laughs> Guess what? This is how you learn, right? Yeah. Okay. Good job. Okay. I would say so. Is hey, the only thing that would change it is if it actual pull? is if it kicked down. If it tries to shift down, it might not be accurate. What you said? Power windows. I said if it shifts down, the number might not be accurate. That's the only problem. You're giving it the best shot at 35. I think so, and then I'll try to roll into it. I don't even know. These, these it's like grandma's dash. Look at that. <laughs> I know. Look at my. Check out my fancy RPM. Oh, yeah, my yeah. tack. Look at my tack right there, and right below that is the burnt boost gauge. So it's got an uh, it's got an electric <laughs> boost gauge right there, or a bar bar style boost gauge. Right. Cool. Okay, so I need that. Okay, what's did we say? Thirty five hundred. Yep. Okay. That's more than I thought. That's crazy. These things make that much. 251 horsepower. Can you tell what our? Eh. Uh, it says somewhere around 5500. Yeah. Let's try it one more time in 25. Let's see if it'll hold. Just picked up 90 horsepower. Yeah, there's the way to trick. Well, it did downshift out of nowhere. Yeah. What was that? That was inaccurate. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> might, might have made some power. Well, downshift here, Rick. Yeah. Uh, did you? You think you got a good, good uh, dyno video? Oh yeah. Okay. We got we'll try two. like 28. I think 3,000 will take it. Uh, yeah, put it at 28. It's been the last time.
249. You got it on one smoothie. You what? You got it on one smoothie. Bring it up, Brent. That was just like factory, right? Yeah, that has, there's, this thing has nothing done to it. It's got the factory catalytic converter, it's got the factory mufflers. Right. So 200, what did it make for torque? Okay. 196? No. Two, 306. 249, 306. Man, I would believe it because the way it feels when you rip on it. Like, that's why I said you can tell. I've driven a stock Fox body and they ain't fast. And that's faster than a stock Fox. Pull this up so I can read it, Rick. You know how excited pull, I get? Pull it up. Ryan, pull it up so I can read it. You know how excited I get? Okay, Matt, you make it so I can read that? Well, Rick, you don't understand the English, well, but they're speaking. down here. Like, it only flashes big. I need, it, it, I need, it, big I need when to you. see it up here. Let's see. Looks like 249. Right. Pretty good. 249. But no, I forgot to tell you I, when I was at. So yeah. they put these in the GTAs. What they did was they had 15, 1600 engines left. Somebody will correct me if I'm wrong, but something like this. They had 15, 1600 motors left from the GNs. So they put, they put them over into the turbo. They made the turbo TAs with them. And for some reason, those made a little bit more horsepower, but they didn't want to show, they, they detuned the horsepower number on those to not hurt the sales, so they mm. wouldn't hurt the sales of these. Didn't Chuck have one of those? Uh, yeah. Turbo TS? Uh, Sean just bought a 30,000 mile one. Oh, uh, yeah. but doesn't Chuck have one too? Yes. Yeah. yeah. Well, Chuck has a fuck, fuck ton of parts. Yeah. <laughs> cool cars too. Yeah. It's fucking it's parts. Cool. And then the second thing that I did was argue with him on the dyno. So the third thing I'm going to do is it's your day today. So you get to figure you, out what you want to eat. You want, you, a Mr. Are, you want a burger from the red dog. Well, I might be able to eat healthy wherever you're. No, there ain't nothing I eat healthy. Nothing? No. Oh, you're kind of a chicken um, and rice guy. I mean, I guess if you want to go. Go-go? Go-go or something, we could do that. Mm, yeah, we go-go. I, I, I eat some go-go. Go-go pizza.